everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be doing a best class setup for the Spitfire submachine gun here in Black Ops 4 after update 1.17. So that's the thing guys, if you didn't already know, with Black Ops 4 update 1.17, which released on Tuesday, the time you're making this video, every single submachine gun in the game did end up getting buffed, including of course the Spitfire submachine gun. So that's how come what I'm going to be doing in this video is a best class setup as well as a weapon guide. Now that's the thing, if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know what I am going to be doing in this video. And that's at the beginning of the video, I am going to be discussing the Spitfire. Then I am going to be moving over to a really awesome creative class for the weapon. Then I am going to be talking about a couple things that you want to know about the class setup before you go ahead and use it. Then finally, I am going to be doing a live commentary of me using this particular class setup. Also guys, I have a couple things that I want to say before we get too far into this video. And that's first of all, the gameplay that you are going to be watching on your screen right now is the game of standard TDM here on Fire and Range Night. And if you notice that the gameplay looks a little bit off and that's just because the gameplay was recorded out of theater mode so that's how come there are health bars above players heads as well so the recoil on the spitfire looks a little bit different in theater mode so yeah guys if you are enjoying this video make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it down below let's go ahead and see if we can break 10 likes on this video that'd be absolutely amazing and yeah now that i got the intro out of the way let's actually dive right into the video all right so of course the first thing that i am going to be talking about in this video and that's going to be discussing the spitfire submachine gun so starting off, you unlock this particular weapon roughly halfway through your prestige, being that you unlock it at level 28. In the current state of Black Ops 4, the Spitfire is the fastest firing weapon in the game, being that it fires at over 1,000 rounds per minute, which is absolutely insane, and that is even without the Wildfire Operator mod equipped. The damage profile of the Spitfire is pretty decent, however, the recoil on the weapon is quite hefty, so that means overall, if you want to excel when using the Spitfire, try to stick to close range engagements and the Spitfire is an absolute monster of a submachine gun if you stay close range and in a lot of cases, you can take out enemies that are using shotguns with the Spitfire, which is pretty crazy and at least from my experience, if you tap fire the weapon as well as if you control your recoil, you can take out enemies somewhat effectively at medium range. However, however, with that in mind, medium range is the absolute maximum range for this particular weapon being that if you try to take out opponents at long range, it isn't going to be working out too well. As well as one big tip if you are going to be using this particular weapon, weapon and that is try to aim for the upper chest as well as the head. If you manage to get a headshot, when you are going to be using this particular weapon, it's going to be doing a lot of damage and the hipfire spread on the weapon is quite good as well as since the rate of fire on the spitfire is extremely high, it means that you can very effectively take out enemies while hip firing. in a lot of cases. If I'm in a point blank range engagement with an opponent, a lot of the times I will hip fire them. So yeah guys, as mentioned a little bit earlier in this video, the spitfire did end up getting buffed with update 1.7 so now what I am going to be doing is discussing the buff to the Spitfire and that is the buff to the Spitfire with update 1.17 was the six shot kill range got changed from 7.5 meters to 8 meters so that means overall the Spitfire is going to be more effective at those close to medium range engagements and from my experience although the buff is pretty minor the Spitfire is an absolute tank of a weapon here in Black Ops 4 so yeah guys now I am going to be moving over to the creative class portion of this video and of course as you can see the creative class is going to be on your screen right now. So starting off, of course, we are going to be using the Spitfire with that diamond camo. And moving over to our first attachment, we are going to be using Fast Max. And that's just because since the rate of fire on this particular weapon is extremely high, it means that you are going to be burning through magazines very quickly. So with that in mind, that's what come for our first attachment, we are going to be using Fast Mags. Moving over to our second attachment, we are going to be using Extended Mags, just so that way we have a little bit more ammunition per clip, therefore meaning that we won't run out of ammunition. Moving over to our third attachment, we are going to be using quick draw just so that way we can get our iron sights up as quickly as we possibly can. And then of course, moving over to our final attachment, we are going to be using stock, which is going to allow us to sidestep as well as maneuver a little bit easier when we are going to be using this class setup. For our piece of gear, we are going to be using stim shot. And then for our perk setup, our first perk is going to be scavenger just so that way we do not run out of ammunition. And then for our second perk, we are going to be using ghost. Now that's the thing guys, the spitfire is most effective at close range and whenever I use the Spitfire, I always play very aggressively, so that's how come when I designed this particular creative class, I used a lot of perks as well as attachments, which allowed me to play more aggressively. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the creative class portion of this video. Now, I am going to be talking about a couple things that you want to know about this particular class setup before you go ahead and use it. So, as mentioned a little bit earlier in this video, this is a very fast paced class setup. So, we are going to be using this class setup, try to play very aggressively as well as make sure to stick to close to medium range engagements and 
and if you make sure to aim for the upper body as well as the head when you are going to be using this class setup, you are going to be excelling. So yeah, guys, that's of course going to be it for the weapon guide portion of this video. Now I am going to be moving over to a live commentary of me using this particular class setup life in Black Ops 4. So yeah, guys, enjoy the live commentary. Alright guys, so of course, hello everyone and welcome to the live commentary portion of this video. And guys, as you can see, this is the creative class that we are going to be using. And of course, we do have Diamond Camo, which I'm not going to lie, Diamond Camo looks really nice here on the Spitfire. And interestingly enough, I was using the Spitfire when I got my first nuclear back in November of 2018. So now that I got the intro out of the way, of course, I will see you when I join up into my first game. Alright guys, so of course, as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our first game. And this time, we are going to be playing a game of standard TDM here on summit and of course as you can see we are going to be using the brand new specialist specter so let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do in this game and of course if you haven't already seen it this is the spitfire with that diamond camo wait a second all right there we go that's another one Wait a second. As well as another one. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. That first kill was extremely close. Not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna die there. There's another kill. As well as another one. Right now we're on a bloodthirsty, so that's pretty good. At least we're starting off this particular game. And you know what? Let's go ahead and throw this down. As well as the counter, okay. Alright guys, so we unfortunately died, however it's not too big of a deal, I'm not gonna lie. I was playing it a little bit too aggressively over there, so. Nonetheless, starting off this particular game, we are doing quite well, currently going 7-2, and two, which is pretty decent in my opinion, at least we're starting off a game. There's another kill, of course. As well as another one. As well as another one, okay. All right, we just got the Shadow Blade, so. So I'm gonna wait until there are a bunch of enemies close together, then I am gonna be equipping the Shadow Blade. And maybe we can get a nice multi-kill or something. That would be pretty awesome. All right, there's one. And there might be another one over here. But all right, that was a pretty nice triple kill. All right, there's another kill. And it looks like there might be some more people over here. And it looks like they're gonna be on this side of the map. Okay, there's another kill. There's another player over there, and alright, my teammate took him out. And I'm not gonna lie, my teammates are doing quite well right now, as well. As currently, I'm doing pretty decent. Currently going 20 and 6. Let's go ahead and call in this UAV. And it looks like they're gonna continually spawn on this side of the map. Liquidate. Took him out. Let's go ahead and call in this counter, and wait a second. Alright, we took out that person. And there's the sniper's nest. Okay, let's go ahead and call it in. All right, it looks like there's gonna be another person over here. All right, took him out. All right, guys. So of course that's going to be the game. I'm going 30 and seven. Pretty awesome game in my opinion. Now that's the thing. I did end up calling in a sniper's nest. However, unfortunately, it did end up getting destroyed. However, nonetheless, that's of course going to be our first game, and I will see you guys in game number two. All right, guys. So of course, as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our second game. This time, we are going to be playing a game of standard TDM here on Icebreaker. So let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do in this game. Now that's the thing. Something that's pretty interesting, and that's tomorrow the time me making this video. Prop Hunt is going to be added into Black Ops 4, which is really cool. And there we go. That's, of course, going to be our first kill of the game. As well as our second one. Okay. As well as our third. Because that's the thing. At least for myself, I've enjoyed all iterations of Prop Hunt going all the way back to Modern Warfare Remastered. I think it is really cool that Prop Hunt is going to be added into this game. Wait a second. Alright, there's another kill. And if you would like to, feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on Prop Hunt being added into Black Ops 4 tomorrow at the time you making this video. Now let's go ahead and pick up this ICR as a backup weapon because that's the thing. This Spitfire isn't really too great at longer ranges, so, so that means if I do end up getting into a longer range engagement, I can always go ahead and use the ICR. Alright guys, so of course that's where I'm going to be ending off this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well. As make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you guys will not miss a new upload from me. Again, guys, this was the creative class that I used for this video. So yeah, that's of course gonna be it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.